हेलो एवरीवन आई ज्योति असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन बियानी ग्रुप ऑफ कॉलेज वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ द ग्रु के पी डॉट कॉम टुडे आई विल डिलीवर अ लेक्चर ऑन कम्युनिकेशन प्रोसेस व्हाट इज कम्युनिकेशन एंड हाउ बेसिक मॉडल ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन प्रोसेस वर्क्स सो टुडे आई टेल यू वॉट इज कम्युनिकेशन एज वी ऑल नो ऑल द ह्यूमन इंट्रैक्शन डेट ऑल द ह्यूमन इंट्रैक्शन कन्वर्सेशन कम आर द फॉर्म ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन सो कम्युनिकेशन इज अ ट्रू आर्ट फॉर्म which requires practice fineness and a skill set that goes beyond the people who possess the average communication so what is exactly the communication is the communication is the uh, is a creating and uh, creating and uh, exploring the ideas like is it's make you creative you should create your ideas and you share your ideas with the people with the audiences so it is so how your communication could be effective your communication can be effective if you uh, create new ideas and it well, it means richness of your ideas make your communication effective so what are the basic model of communication as you have seen people uh, 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 across the world they the people who are have mastered the communication they are very successful people you must have seen the all the successful people being mastered in the art of communication so communication has in process basic process of communication so what is the basic process of communication there is a source when you start a communication when you start communicating with someone to you should be a source is a sender you should be a good source sender is a person who wants to convey the message the person who gives the information so you should be very much aware ki which kind of information which kind of uh, message you want to share with the people you want to share with the audience it depends you talking to a person you talking to a audience so you should be very much aware about the source uh, you should ask the question you should be able to give the answer which kind of communication you required if you are not able to give this answer so it's a high chance of failure of your communication so what is encode before sending a message before sending a message you encode it according to the comfort level cultural background perception of the receiver because you are sending the message to the receiver receiver can be a person a audience even can be your boss even can be your friend so you have to be uh, encode the message according to the perception cultural background and uh, attitude of the person okay so encoding is what about the changing the other uh, message according to the comfort level of the receiver fine what is the message message is the information that you share with the people share with the audience sharing with the receiver so it uh, without any message there is no cause of communication so message is the important part next what next comes decode and receiver uh before that we'll discuss channel what is the channel we are sending the message by which channel channel is the method by which we send the message to the receiver the method depends there are so many methods it de uh, it depend on your type of information you are sh sharing the if you are sharing some technical information so you will like complex typical information so you would like to uh, be face to face conversation if you would like so there are so many uh, Uh, can uh, there are so many uh, channels or methods you can use after for giving uh, for uh, for communication so there are video conferences face to face conversations emails via telephone etc there are so many methods you can use for the effective communication next thing decode when you start when you like uh, use the method like you use face to face conversation after that you used to send the message then receiver what receiver do receiver is a person who find to uh, towards whom directly the message is finalized di uh, directed so because what receiver do he di he decodes the message according to his own perception on cultural background on method so uh, receiver decodes the what is decoding decoding is the uh, receive according to uh, receiver's perception he understand understood the message that that comes in decode what is the main thing in this that is feedback is uh, receiver is able to understand 
is sender how the sender will get ki uh, whatever i send you even you are talking to your friend and how you will come to know ki he is able to understand or not that comes in feedback that is a very main important the key chain of the communication process so what is feedback feedback is the aim at reconfirming like uh, whatever you wanted to send to the uh, receiver is sended or make it confirm when uh, when uh, receiver gives a message through signal either can be a formal message either can be a it can be a um, by a mail either by a written message either by a smile either by a it can be by a long sigh so it depends on receiver how you how he respond your uh, your uh, info, like your communication how he respond of your communication so uh, there is one more thing context what is context it's a situation the situation we use for communication like if you are talking to your boss you will use the formal communication if you are talking to your friend you will use informal communication thank you thank you thank you for more details please log on gurukpo.com